I'm not sure who needs to hear this right now, but I hope one of you do. If you try your hardest in something, no matter what the result is, you still succeeded. Doesn't matter what it is in life, whether that's a test in school, whether it's like trying to ask out like a girl, whatever it is, as long as you tried your best and tried your hardest, you should go home with a smile on your face and at the end of the day, you should know that you succeeded. Even if the result didn't go the way you wanted it to go, you should still feel proud of yourself. I used to struggle with this a lot and maybe that's because of my upbringing and it's how I was raised and you know, I was expected to do really well in tests and in school, but every time I would get a result that wasn't what I expected, kind of like a fail, uh, I would always feel really depressed. Even if I tried my absolute best, my absolute hardest, I gave it my 100%, but I still didn't do that well, I would always feel sad. Even while making videos, for example, last year I would make a video, I'd post it, and obviously I thought it was a great video, and I tried, like I edited, I tried my absolute hardest on it, and if it got like a low amount of views, I would feel pretty sad, because that wasn't what I was expecting, and I would consider it a fail. But I've come to realize something. If I try my best and my absolute hardest at something, the result does not matter at all. The result is just a bonus. Like if I do get the result that I was expecting, it's just a bonus on top of the already su like success that I've gotten, which is through doing my best. If I do my best, the result doesn't even matter because that's st it's still already a success. I've I already consider it a success. If I do get the result that I was expecting, that's just a bonus on top of it. But if I don't, whatever, I still succeeded in what I was doing, and that is trying my hardest. And I've implemented this for everything in my life, whether that's creating videos, whether that's in school, like doing tests, exams, assignments, anything. I always use this rule. If I tried my hardest, I should feel nothing but good. Now, if I didn't try my hardest, yes, I, you know, it, it is it is fine to feel a little upset if I didn't try my hardest because I know I could have done better. But if I tried my absolute best and I know that I could not have done better, that means I've maxed out my potential and my potential is being shown to me, whether that's from a good result or a bad result. So please apply this rule or at least try to apply this rule to everything in your life. It could be making friends, it could be tests in school, it could be video creation, it could be anything. Just please try this out, please use this mindset, and i felt so much happier ever since. Let me give you an example. I remember a couple weeks back, maybe almost a month back, uh, I had done a math test and I'd gotten the result for my math test back. My whole class got uh, the math test results back, and everyone did really bad. Uh, the average of the class was 28%, so that it was obviously pretty bad. And I didn't do that well either. I got like a 37%, which is still above average for sure, but obviously it's not what I was expecting. But I tried my absolute hardest, so when I got my result, I didn't feel sad or anything. I just thought, oh wow, that's not what I expected. I thought I'd get much higher. But at the same time, I tried my absolute best, so I know I did the best I could. And I should have no reason to feel sad. Now, everyone else in my class also got around that 28% mark, and everyone was just feeling so sad and like angry and upset, and they were just like, they, they didn't expect it, and they, they just, they didn't know what to do. They just felt empty, and they just felt miserable. I could see it in everyone's face. And that tells me two things. Either one, they're not applying this mindset, which is damaging their mental health, or they just didn't try hard enough. And the second option is more unlikely than the first one. The, the more likely option, the more likely uh, reason for why everyone was feeling sad is because they don't know about this mindset. They don't know about this positive mindset of if you've tried your hardest, you shouldn't really care about what the result is because you know that you've maxed your potential. That's a success. That's a win. That's already a win. Just celebrate that. Now, of course, you should strive for more, 100%. Like, I got that. And I wasn't just like, okay, yeah, I tried my hardest, whatever, cool. I'm just going to move on with my life. No, obviously I'm going to try to do better next time. But you shouldn't beat yourself over it. You shouldn't bully yourself. You're literally bullying yourself. That's all you're doing. You're just rejecting yourself. You should not do that. It's much more likely that they were doing this rather than the second one. Because if someone just doesn't try hard enough and, you know, let's say they, they work at like 50% of their potential and they get a pretty poor grade, 
that they're just gonna accept that they're gonna think yep i did pretty poorly and i got a poor result that's yeah that's what i expected but for these people who try their absolute best but don't get the result that they want they start freaking out and that's why most of the people were sad and you know feeling upset at themselves and i don't know if you needed to hear this but please do not do this please adopt the mindset that i just said and i'm i'm betting you i'm guarantee you that your my your mental health will get much better because it definitely did for me if you want to see similar videos like this please consider subscribing it is free and it's a win-win for the both of us thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video